Hello, my name is Jamie Stewart and I am the account manager here at Building Point. Trimble is now offering a subscription version of their field software. In this video, we will introduce you to the subscription software as well as the license manager. A lot of our customers grant administrator access uh, to me to be able to assist in their license manager as needed. This next video we will share with you was put together by Michael Fry with Trimble. He will show you live examples in the license manager and how to navigate through the system as well as tips and tricks to help you. Subscription license is placed with a building point. There must be an email associated with those licenses. That email address should be selected very carefully because that person will become the administrator in license manager for assigning licenses. The correct person should be someone that's involved in the day-to-day -day operations and responsibilities for managing the company's licenses. The second note, if a company wishes to have different types of licenses managed by different people within the company, then the licenses should be placed in two or more different orders. For example, if someone has a VDC department and they want to have that department manage RealWorks or Trimble Field Lake office licenses, and then another person who will work out in the field will manage the field link licenses for layout, then those different licenses should be split up into separate orders, with the selected person's email being placed on the separate orders. And that way the desired person will see the correct licenses in their license manager. Once that order has been placed at the building point, there's going to be an email sent out from Trimble Business Systems. If that person who has been selected to be the administrator, if they do not or have not created a Trimble ID, they're going to receive an email with a link to create that Trimble ID. And that's what this email looks like right here. So it's going to be a link on there to accept the invitation and they're going to go in and create a Trimble ID. If that person already has a Trimble ID, then they're going to receive an email that looks like this. And it'll have their name and it'll tell them that they are going to be the administrator and it'll have a link with this blue tab right here that'll say visit license manager after selecting that link to visit license manager this is what that user is going to see so the administrator is going to be placed right into license manager i just want to go through the interface and then we'll go through the points of execution in here so up in the upper right hand corner you can see the person here this is your profile this has your profile and how you sign out and we're going to start now with talking about users so we're going to go in to users so within users i can go up to the upper right hand corner and I can select create a user and in here I'll put in the email address that is going to be associated with a Trimble ID. I can put their first name and then their last name and I would click create new user. You can also if you have a long list of users you can click on import users and you can import from a file and then another easy task that you can do is import your users that you have in a Trimble Connect account. That makes it a lot easier. You can see that I have a few users in here the important thing is is when you look at the column here for role you can see the owner and then users now the owner that is that administrator you can go under actions and click on the edit button and you can see that i have jerry listed here and this is an important part here because if you want to have more than one administrator and you don't want to have all that responsibility to, to be linked to one person in case they go on vacation or there's an extended time that they would be away or they wouldn't be on a remote job site where they might not not have access to email and communication then you could go in and click on this grant full administrator access and i really want to highlight this word access because you can click onto this and then edit that user and then an the email is sent out that that person is going to be administrator a key point here once you change that and you bring that person in as administrator then there's going to be a new tab under here if you're not a full administrator it won't say switch accounts now i'm going to click on switch accounts and you can see that dimitri has has given me access to his license manager which is giving me administrative access so i will click on his name and i'll hit switch and after hitting switch you can see that dimitri's name is at the top this is his license manager and i can see all the licenses that he has in his license manager and i can go in there and make all the changes that he can change so in that way i do have full access but these licenses will not show up in my license manager i'm just going to go back to switch accounts again switch back to my account in license manager you can see that each type of license has its own section 
as I just scroll down through here, you can see the different license type. Another point, if I'm looking at my field link section and I just see that I have five licenses here, but I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, I know within our company we have more than that. What's going on here? This is a little bit of small print here and it can be confusing sometimes, but if you look where my cursor is, it says that I have showing one of five of seven. So if I select here this items per page, I can select on that. And I always just want to go and select all. And then it will show me all my licenses that I have within the group. There's three very important steps that are executed in license management. I want to spend a little time and, and slow up just a little bit, just so that everybody understands this, because this is the really the foundation of license manager. The first important step is to accept term. The second is to activate the license. And then the third is to assign users. So to get started, I'm going to scroll to one section here and you can see under Tremble Field Link Office that there's no users that are assigned and it says that once I activate this, I have this license for 12 months. If I click on this, it's going to accept terms. You just have to go and say, I've read this and I accept the terms. You click on that and then hit continue. And once I hit continue, you can see that both of these show that they're ready to activate. So within that block, if I click on accept terms, then it's going to do it for all the items that are within that block. Two is to activate. So once I hit the activate button, then these subscription licenses will start. And you'll see that once I click on this activate tab, that it's going to give me my expiry date for both of these. And they'll both be on the same day. You can see they're both for a year from now, which is gonna be January the 3rd of next year. The first two tasks are the easy one. Now we're gonna get into the, the third really important step in License Manager, and that is assign users. Now here's a, a caveat that I wanna to stress to everybody. Please remember this one. It is very easy to look at what we have here where it says assign existing user. And you would think if I've already entered that person as a user, then I should be able to go in here and do this. There's a little bit of a bug here that you can only use this one time, and then you can't assign an existing user. So that terminal Technologies is very misleading. We're trying to get that fixed. The point I want to stress here is always, always just go up to assign users and click on that. So once I click on assign users, I can see that I have my subscriptions here for field link office because this is the sign users button that i clicked on and i have two licenses available if i go in i'm going to assign one of these to jerry i'm going to select his name and once i click assign users this license is going to be assigned to jerry and it's as simple as that you always go up and use this assign users tab then you'll be able to assign that i'm going to click on this again because i'm going to show a little a warning sign that comes up a little bit prematurely and it, it's a little misleading if i want to go in and i'm going to i have one more license left if i click on a user's name i haven't clicked assign yet but see it says please get in touch with your tremble reseller to buy more licenses as soon as i click that that's going to appear but i still have this tab here that i can go in and assign that user and it will work and you can see it gives me a toast that everything worked out right with the green toast the next part that i want to talk about is to revoke a license because let's say that you know i just assigned this field link office subscription to myself and i want to revoke that and i want to send it to someone else so they have access to that within the company. To revoke a license, I do use this middle section. If I just hover over here on this black circle with the X in it, you can see it highlights to say I can remove a user. And I'll click on that. And it says, are you sure you want to do this? And I click remove. And now I get the green toast and there's no longer a name in there. My name is gone. There's a couple of emails that are sent out. Here's what the two emails look like. The first will say that you have been given access to Trimble Field Link or whatever license that is. And the second email is an email that comes out when that license has been revoked. So it'll have your Tremble ID and it'll say that it's been revoked so you can no longer use it. Along with this video, we have also created a quick start guide. This is a very important document that has a lot of information that will lead you step by step with screenshots and explanations and active links that go through and show you the whole process of going through and executing tasks and license manager. In summary, there are three Key points to remember to help you avoid any mistakes. One, always use this assign users button to make assignments for licenses. Two, in field link, you have to assign field link core and advanced to have all the features. You must assign both of them to the same user. Three, if you have any modules, a scan module, site module, surface module, or the robotics, you have to assign that to the same user as well. If you have modules, then you would assign core, advanced, and that scan module to the same user. 
Thank you for taking the time out to watch this short video. I hope that you found this informative and beneficial. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or anyone at our Building Point team. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on any content we provide.